What's up, guys? Uh, this is another edition of my weekly What Sold video. Uh, what sold, I sold on eBay. I've been having some audio issues with my um, microphones and stuff, so I'm using these goofy-looking headphones for now. But I do plan on buying a microphone at some point here to get some better audio quality for this thing. But for now, uh, hopefully this will do the job. Uh, I really like making these videos every week just to show you guys what I'm selling. I kind of like showing the whole picture of... I got it at a garage sale. You guys see me get it. You, sometimes you see me list it and then you see it sell. Uh, it's one thing to kind of buy this stuff and say, yeah, this is worth that and this is worth this much or whatever. And that's another thing to really show it selling. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's just get right into it. <music> Okay, first up we got this Atari Lynx 2 console with the box and boxed games. I got this in a bundle deal from a private pick. Paid 210 for everything, and that would include the Sega Master System and the other Atari Lynx. Uh, for this bundle here, I got $259.99 plus shipping. Everything worked out great. Tested everything, and it was uh, just in really good working condition. Okay, this flip clock I had listed for two or three months for $34.99 or best offer. I took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. I haven't sold a whole lot of these because I haven't found a lot of them, but the flip clocks, you know, the, like the ones that have these numbers that actually flip down, they've got some pretty good value to them. Some of them sell for a lot more money than this, so if you ever see them out there, pick them up. Sold another Assassin's Creed 2 game. I got these retail arbitrage for a couple bucks. Sold for $8.99, free shipping. Uh, this is one of the games I got in that big bundle deal. I separated out like eight or nine of them to sell separately. And this one sold for $24.99, plus shipping. All right, these things here. This was a great little sale. I got these retail for $5 each. And I got like 14 of them. And one guy bought four of them. And I had free shipping on it, so since he bought four, it saved me some money on the shipping. He wasn't charged any kind of shipping, so I didn't do any kind of combined shipping or anything like that. So he got four of them and paid seventy-one ninety-six. Okay, this uh, Ninja Turtle cycle, I paid five bucks for. It was like a bundle of toys that I got, and it sold for nineteen ninety-nine plus shipping. I honestly thought it would have been worth more since it had the box, but that was pretty much the going rate for him. This lube, I've had this for a long time, probably a year, maybe more, and I had 15 bottles, 15 tubes of them, and I decided to do them in lots of five, and I just sold one. I sold it for $12.99, free shipping. I actually took a best offer on this thing because it weighs nothing, so I think it shipped at like the three ounce rate. All right, this remote goes to the Squawkers McCall Parrot. I actually got the Parrot and the remote at a yard sale for five bucks. The parrot was like being real glitchy and wasn't really um, working all that well. It would respond to the remote, but I think it just like it wasn't really in great working condition. But I saw the remote was actually selling for a lot, so I sold the remote for thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Okay, these Yankee Candle reed diffusers. I got these for like five or six bucks a piece. The picture just shows all the options. The listing I did with this um, gave people the options to select which one they wanted. And this person bought the Warm Lux Cashmere for $14.49 plus shipping. I've sold through a decent amount of those. All right, these games are what we refer to as pickles. There's really nothing special in here. They're PS3 games. Uh, so instead of trying to get, you know, three or four dollars for them separately, I just decided to go ahead and do one lot. Four games, $8.99 plus shipping. Okay, these bicycle lights. Got these retail for a couple bucks. They sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Some more retail stuff. A lot of this stuff I got like over the winter. Um, this one honestly wasn't a very good buy because they were expired. The, the price just kept going down after I bought them. Uh, sometimes with the retail arbitrage stuff, you just got to be really careful because the price that it's selling at when you buy it could change drastically in maybe a month, two months, because more people are buying them clearance and trying to sell them on eBay. So the price just keeps going down and down and down. Uh, so... I I think when I bought these, they were like 90% off, so I think I'm into them for like a buck each. It was just one of those deals where it's like, that's so cheap, I'm just going to buy it. But I think I took a best offer of like $11 free shipping because they weren't moving, and I put them in a padded flat rate and shipped them, so I might have made a buck or two on this. Just not really a good buy, but I think I'm officially done with these because I think there's two lots of these I sold this past week, so I'm just happy to be 
done with them. Okay, this Mizuno softball glove. I put softball and baseball in there because that's pretty big. It's a 14-incher. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. The palm of this, you can see some of the leather residue is starting to wear off a little bit. So I made sure I took pictures of that and talked about it in the description just because like, when you put your hand in gloves, sometimes the stuff like comes off. Not really desirable, but it's something I like to disclose. All right, here's some more retail stuff. Sunscreen spray. It took a best offer for $4.65 plus shipping on this. Here is one of the last pieces of that drone thing I bought. I bought a drone case with a bunch of accessories, and I just decided to part everything out. There was no drone, so I'm just parting out all the pieces. And this battery charger sold for $23.99 plus shipping. Diddy Kong Racing. I got this a few weeks ago in an N64 bundle, so I maybe had a buck or two into it, and it Took a few weeks to sell, but it did sell for $19.99, free shipping. All right, Batman Returns. This is one of the Atari games that I decided to sell separately, and it sold for $24.99, plus shipping. Here's a bra. I'm selling bras, I'm selling underwear, I'm selling all kinds of weird stuff. This was a retail buy. I paid three or four bucks for it. It was, it was really deeply discounted, and it sold for $14.99, free shipping. Here is another drone piece. Um, this is a uh, charger for the remote control. This sold for $19.99, free shipping. I sold another one of these Toshiba cassette receivers. I'm into these for 20 bucks a piece. I've still got maybe 15 of them or so. I took a best offer of $50 plus shipping on that one. This is just a really cool thing. I got this in a lot of like sports memorabilia stuff from some auction. I doubt I've got anything more than like a dollar for it because it was just in a big tub of stuff. These are um, 1969 tickets to a Columbus minor league baseball team. Just awesome graphics. They were never punched, never opened up. So pretty cool. Uh, I took a bus offer of 1609 free shipping. Here's some more retail stuff. This is some high-performance light bulbs. I took a best offer of $25 free shipping. They weighed like nothing, so I think they shipped at the three-ounce rate. Here is some Mary Kay stuff. I did an auction on these by accident. I don't... I was up late. wasn't paying attention, I guess. And did an auction instead of the buy it now. And these sold for $14.99 free shipping. Just started storming like crazy outside, so you guys might hear some of that <laughs> in this video. All right, next up, I sold this Skosh audio adapter. I got this retail for like 10 bucks, and I got five or six of them. And I sent them into Amazon because they're actually selling for more money on Amazon, like around 30 bucks, I think. But this one had some damage on the box. You can see it kind of like right there. So can't sell it as new on Amazon. So I sold it on eBay and took a picture of that little damage. That way they knew what it was, but it sold for $18.99 free shipping, so didn't make a lot of money on that one. All right, sold another sick of deodorant. I think this is the last one I had. Uh, paid like a buck or two for it retail. It sold for $9.99 free shipping. I've got a lot of these mice. I think I was like all set to sell these on Amazon, but I was either restricted or there was something where I couldn't do it. I only paid a few bucks for them a piece, and I've got six of them. I sold one, and it sold for $10.99 free shipping, so... Not really a lot of money on this thing. It sold. It shipped at like a five ounce rate, so it did go fairly cheap, but not one of my best buys. Okay, this little weirdo's uh, skateboard action figure toy. I only got like a buck or two in. It was like a bundle deal with some other stuff. It sold for six ninety nine. All right, this essential oil. It seems like essential oils are really popular now. They seem to be selling a lot. This one sold for eleven ninety nine. Free shipping. I picked it up retail. For like a buck or two. All right, this cow rod microphone. This was, it's like a CB radio type microphone, I think. I got this in a bin of a bunch of like radio type stuff, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Had the original box with it and everything. Here's another Assassin's Creed 2 game, and I think I'm finally sold out of these things. Got a retail arbitrage for a buck or two each. Sold them for $8.99 free shipping. All right, these OK used cars. Signs, uh, these are reproductions. I mean, they even, like, sort of had them distressed like that just to make them look old. But they are reproductions. I've, I'm into each of these for, like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten bucks, something like that, retail arbitrage, and took a best offer on this one for $20 plus shipping. 
All right, I think I'm officially done with all my drone accessories. This is the bag that had all the accessories and everything. And it's sold. I took a bus off for $40 plus shipping. The buyer had to pay a lot for shipping because they're in Oregon. And it's just a big case. Even though it doesn't weigh a whole lot, it's a big case. So they had to pay quite a bit for shipping. This this shipping price is quoting it from if for me, like if I bought it from Cincinnati. So that's not accurate. I think they ended up paying like 30 40 bucks just to ship the thing. All right, this phone case, I got retail arbitrage for a couple bucks. Took a best offer of $10 free shipping on this thing. This is one of those cases where I got it and the price was at like 25, 30 bucks, something like that. And then just a couple weeks after the price just plummeted because eBay was just flooded with them. So cell phone cases are really, it's a really, really hard market. There's, there's so many of them to begin with and they're just super, super cheap. So if I can get them for next to nothing, I'll buy them. But I usually don't like to invest a lot of money in those things. All right, this camera, really, really cool camera. It's pretty rough. I decided to do an auction. I couldn't even find the same one. I found very similar ones, but not the exact same one. So I decided to do an auction. Started at 99 cents. I mean, you can see this thing has had some discoloring. I tried to clean it up pretty good with the age of it and everything, which is kind of a kind of rough. But it's still sold for 39.88 plus shipping, and I shipped that in a regional A. Uh, so I was able to charge the buyer just for the two pound rate, even though it would have shipped at like a three or four pound rate if I had not shipped it in a regional A. All right, this thing I just thought was really cool. I got this in a bundle deal, and it was like next to nothing. I think I might have a couple bucks into this thing. The problem with this thing is I didn't know how long I'd be hanging on to it, just because it's kind of weird, oddball, like I couldn't find a maker on it or anything. The Fishman, I think, is just the name of the, who owned this thing, but it's just a really cool uh, picnic spout. And I had it listed for $49.99 for like a month or two, and I decided to just take a best offer of $20 plus shipping. Buyer had to pay close, close to $20 just to ship it. All right, this Hot Wheels toy, I'm into it for like maybe five bucks. There was a bundle deal I got with this stuff. Signed by some of the uh, writers, which I thought was pretty cool. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Here's another one of those OK Used Car Signs. Took a best offer of $17.50 plus shipping on this thing. I've had these for months, so since offers are coming in, I'm taking them. I need to move some product. All right, this Focus T25 Beachbody DVD set. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar, maybe two dollars, and it sold for twenty-one ninety-nine free shipping. I shipped it media mail, so it only cost me like two sixty-six, something like that. I've heard a lot of people say that they don't list Beachbody because of the eBay Vero's that they get. Um, I've never had any kind of issue with listing Beachbody stuff. I do know that they do take stuff down. They can hit you with a Vero or whatever. I think that's only if it's uh, it's like a fake. You know what I mean? If it's a knockoff. And the knockoffs are pretty... They, they're good. They look a lot like the real thing. The coloring is usually just off a little bit. So I've seen so many of those P90X through the years that when I see a knockoff, I can usually tell it. I can I can spot it. So if you if you get the P90X, you get any kind of beach body stuff before you list it. Just do some research, see if there's something online that kind of spots, tells you how to spot a fake. So, because if you put a fake on there, I think they'll definitely hit you with a Vero, and that can get you in a little bit of trouble. This Pioneer turntable, I got for 25 bucks last weekend at a garage sale, and I plugged it in, seemed to be working. I, I didn't have everything to fully test it, and there was just a couple things that kind of were red flags to me, so I decided to sell it as is for 50 bucks. And somebody bought it locally, which is really cool. So I don't have to ship it, which I'm really happy for. Not a lot of money made on this one, but still made some profit. All right, this little Sony uh, camera battery. I'm doing the packaging, sold for $8.99, free shipping. I got it at a yard sale for a buck or two. All right, this powertrains. This is another thing that I've been selling on Amazon, but the packaging on this one was just a little bit damaged. Had a little bit of damage right there. So, couldn't sell it on Amazon, decided to just go ahead and sell it on eBay. I actually took a best offer on this thing of $5 free shipping. I paid a buck for it, I think, so I doubt I made anything on this one. But that's okay, because I got maybe about 20 of these things that I shipped into Amazon where I made my money on them. So, just happy to get it out the door. Alright, here's a Parrot Fly Pad. Another 
uh, retail buy where the price just plummeted on me. I think I paid five or six bucks for this thing, and I took a best offer of sixteen forty nine plus shipping. All right, micro machines. I've been I got a whole bunch of these at one place. I paid like six bucks a piece for them, and this one sold for twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. Toy Story three. This is a water slide. The Buzz Lightyear water slide. I paid five bucks for this at a garage sale. It was sealed, perfectly new. Sold for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. The new Toy Story movie's coming out, so I'm sure that helped that sale. Okay, this Mike and Bat. I'm so glad this thing is gone. I've had this for well over a year, I think. And it sold, and then they canceled, and then it sold again to somebody else. Took a best offer of $11 plus shipping. Really not a super special bat, but since it's baseball season, somebody wanted it. All right, here is another awesome video game sale. Uh, this was in the lot I got with the Atari and the other stuff. This is the Sega Master System, uh, original box, all the games, everything included. I tested it, worked out perfectly, and it sold for $179.99 plus shipping. All right, here is those Dyson parts I picked up at the yard sale a couple months ago. I paid 3 or $4 for them. Took a car cleaning kit. Uh, pretty clean, actually, all the pieces were. It sold for $12.99 plus shipping. I put sellery refurbished because I personally went through and uh, cleaned all these, make them look really good. All right, Hunter Fan. Got this at a garage sale for either five or six bucks. The guy had it with his fan that he wanted to sell. It was like a used fan, but I convinced him to sell this to me separately, and he did. Uh, the remote was sealed, sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, this is a pretty decent sale. It's a complete Far Side book. Uh, basically has all the comics of the Far Side. I paid 20 bucks for this at a garage sale, and it sold rather quickly for $49.99 plus shipping. This thing weighed like 21 pounds, but it went media mail, so it only cost $13. All right, sold another pack of these bulbs for full price on this one, $28.99 free shipping. And that is it, guys. I really appreciate you watching, and Next week, I'll do another one of these and show you what I sold. See you next time.